Hey, so the other day I was uh, editing a video and I had filmed a couple of old abandoned cars back here in the woods. And I thought it was pretty interesting, all these different cars and what year and models they were. So I figured I'd come back and try to find some more, try to ID them. And there's even one with a motor still in it. So that's gonna be pretty interesting to see. And since we're out in the woods, we might just see a bird. No idea what kind of car that is. That's a Belvedere. Belvedere. The headlights are still on it. Nice grill, nice chrome bumper. The motor's gone though. That's where you put the gas in these old cars. Oh, I'll pick that up. Old 28 shot in the shell. There's another car over there. Let's go check that one out. Still in pretty good shape for the amount of years that it's probably been sitting there. Oh yeah. The frame might be a little rotted out though. Okay. That one there is interesting. What is that? <laughs> this one's an old truck. Painted with a paintbrush. Wow. It's not today's sheet metal. an old I don't know international what's this one man have no idea what that one is Huh, they had upside down cars back then. They had ashtrays in the back of the seats. Look at that. You don't see that anymore. The frame is a little cracked, but she still runs good.
door is salvageable. Cool. I really like this one. Yeah, that one's nice. I bet you somebody could actually restore that. Old Blue is here somewhere. I, oh, there's Old Blue. It looks like something I've seen before. Judging by that pillar right there. Okay, what do we have here? Chrysler, maybe? Vehicle number. So that's the serial number. That doesn't tell us much. Jeez. The trunk's right here. Oh, look at that emblem. Wow. That's beautiful. What's that? Well, that must be for uh, maple syrup. There's a moose hair right there. I was gonna say, it looks like somebody was here. A moose did that. But that hair right there is a dead giveaway. The tracks too. Yeah, look at this car. What a beauty. General Motors of Canada, made in Canada. Serial number, nice. Those of you who know their old cars, probably you're gonna know what it is, but I'm gonna find it on the internet. Oh yeah. The body's a little dented right here. But uh, yeah, it should still be good. This chrome trim is good. Could sell that on eBay probably. The, oh, this window too. That's unique. Yeah, this window's in good shape. I'm not gonna break it. Oh yeah! That's the view from the windshield. They got some electrical stuff right here. The firewall's nice and solid. You even got a piece of console still left and a piece of trim right there. Oh, this one's got the AC. Yeah, the vents for the AC right there. Rig. That's awesome. <laughs> the window mechanism is a little rusty. The window might not go down sometimes. No rear doors. Does that make it a coupe? Nice. Round tail lights. That sees solid. We're gonna head to that other spot where uh, there supposedly is one with the motor still in it. I told Dexter that we're going to the truck. Let's see if he's gonna find the way back. Poopy break. That's a smart dog. He could have took the easy way. Oh my God, Dexter. Okay. Have been walked since moose hunting. The 
beauty of owning a hunting dog. We've got about an hour left before uh, the sun sets. Well, well, well. What do you know? I see one. Teal colored. I see two. There's one on the roof right there. <laughs> nice place to hunt moose right here. We'll have a look around. This one's in bad shape. Bench seat in the front. Round. That must be like a, I don't know, a park light maybe. The brake lights would be right there. Both of them are round. There's the flat for the gas. I'm gonna have a hard time with this one probably. Nothing on the fender, what's this? Just another chrome trim. Oh, they painted it with a, with a brush too. Hmm. The hood's right there. It's a little soft. Oh, I think I can flip it over. So that's the hood. Tapered hood. It had an emblem right here. And the bumper, the front bumper, the bottom pieces, three pieces. Oh, the ball joints are still good. No play at all. The spindle's a little rusted. Nothing that a little bit of steel wool and WD-40 can't fix. Grease fitting's gone. The bushings are still good. Yep. It's crazy how it just turns freely like that still. <laughs> well, can't ID this one yet. Frick sakes. All right, who's next? Geez, there's also another one way over there. Well, that's not the one with the motor in it, that's for sure. That looks like another Dodge Dart. Yeah, this is another Dodge Dart. 1962 Dodge Dart. That's the only year that they had that front end. Four headlights, four round headlights. These little ridges right here, yeah. That's a Dodge Dart. I wonder if the emblems are on this one. The window is still good. How can the window still be good? Hmm. <laughs> Drum brakes in the front. Ah, that one doesn't turn though. Oh yeah. It's hard to turn, but oh yeah. There's no loose in those ball joints. Cool. That's the E from the Dodge. Hmm. Sell that on eBay. Man, that's heavy. Is there anybody in there? Nope, just checking. Man, I hope I don't see any sand squanches. I left my shotgun over there. Ooh, this one's in bad shape, yep. I don't think there's much uh, parts we can take off of this one. The exhaust pipe might still be good. I don't know. Bumper with the fins right there and the round tail light. Oh, this, this one has the mortar in it. Yeah. The brake shoes are a little worn. Oh, look, there's a distributor cap. This is an eight. That's a V8. No way to tell what it is though. Maybe from the front bumper. 
there's something. Oh, 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 oh. M E T. What? M E T. Met. Meteor. This is a something meteor. Let's investigate this one. Ah, the wheel bearing is seized. Yep. Is there a date? Super, it's a good year. Super cushion. Super cushion. 69, 1969 this tire. Yep, 1969. This is what's left of it. No engine. That looks like the the same bumper as that meteor over there. There's something on here. M-A, that's a um, uh, M-A-I, main, main line? This is a main line and it had a V8. Oh man, I'd love to find that emblem, that V8 emblem. I'll have to come back for that. Maybe it's on the other side. Jeez, the front fenders are a little bit rusty. Should have sprayed that with rush check when a guy had the chance. So that was four. Have a little walk around. See if I can't uh, spot some more old vehicles. Okay, well, I had a walk around this uh, wooded area and I can't find any more. So I guess that's going to be all for uh, this video. If you guys found this video interesting, let me know because I know I found it very interesting to find these old cars parked in the middle of nowhere, trying to figure out what year and model and make they were. So if you guys do want to see more videos like this, I'm going to make more for sure. There's probably hundreds of these old cars just laying there in the woods back here. All from these old villages that closed down in the 80s or 90s, I can't remember. There were hundreds of people living back here back then and they just left their cars there. Who knows why? I really hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I had fun filming it. And until next time, keep your barrels clean.